Good morning. Myself, I'm M. Shivram Kumar, Triple E Department Assistant Professor, Triple E Department, working at Home University. In this session, we're going to see about the basics of electrical and electronics. As per first, we're going to see about the relation of voltage, current, and resistance. First of all, let us know about what is an voltage. What is an voltage? It is the potential difference between two ends of a conductor. And what is a current? Flow of electrons in a circuit. Resistance which opposes the flow of electrons. So, using these three relations, we are going to see a law termed as Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Using these three relations, we are going to see about Ohm's law. Can you tell what is an Ohm's law? What about the statement? states that at a constant temperature, a steady state current flowing through a circuit is directly proportional to the potential difference between two ends of a conductor and inversely proportional to the resistance. This can be stated as by uh, giving an equation I proportional to V by R. It means that at constant temperature, a steady current flowing through a circuit is directly proportional to the potential difference between two ends of a conductor and inversely proportional to the resistance. This is the exact term of an Ohm's law, which we use, we can also be used to term as I equal to, sorry, V equal to I into R. Now, this I will explain with a practical example. This is a statement which is given by George Simon O. Now, I will give a practical example of this Ohm's law. Let's consider a water tank, a two water tanks, tank 1 and tank 2. This is situated, this is placed at a height of 10 feet from the ground and it is placed at 20 feet from the ground. This is ground level. And we consider this as a, a tap. Okay. Why I am telling you this? As we state voltage, here I am going to state the relation of voltage, resistance, and the current in terms of a working of a water pump. See, here uh, consider if I tell in this voltage, in the example, I am going to relate it as a pressure. In electrical term, if I mean a current I, here it refers to water flow and resistance R can be termed as a tap, tap control. Why I am stating these examples? What is the definition of an voltage? It is the potential difference between two ends of a conductor. A same way that the pressure, the pressure depends upon the height difference. Same way the voltage depends upon potential difference. Means that, consider this example, the tank which is situated, uh, it is from uh, ground level above 10 feet and this tank too is situated at 20 feet. The height difference between these two tanks is, the tank from the height difference is less. Wherein in tank two the height difference is more. This causes that if the height difference is less, the pressure is the pressure of this tank is more. If the tank one has more pressure compared to the tank two. This I can state the, to the same voltage as the, the potential. So thereby the height difference of this tank decides pressure. Similarly, the potential difference between the two ends of a conductor decides the voltage. Then coming to current. What is the current? It is a flow of electrons as we stated. Flow of electrons, here I am going to relate it with the water flow. A water flow from this tank 1 to the ground level. The water is flowing from this tank 1 or from tank 2. The flow of water can be termed as air flow of electrons. Why I am stating here is the water flow here is depends upon the pressure. 
pressure. It means that the current in a circuit depends upon the voltage. This we can state as voltage proportional to current or current proportional to voltage because in this example the pressure of this tank 1 is higher when comparing to the tank 2. So if I fill the water, if I start, uh, if I open these two taps at, at a stretch, the water, now the, we consider this is 1000 liters of water, here also 1000, here also 1000 liters of water tank. If I, on the two taps at the same stretch, the which tank would fill first? Either the, from the tank 1 or tank 2, the tank 1 will get, it will get filled faster because high difference is less, thereby the pressure in this tank is more. So the tank 1, it fills the water, it gets empty sooner. The similar way means that the current in a circuit or the flow of electrons is depends upon the potential difference between the conductor as the water flow depends upon the pressure. Now we can tell about the third term, resistance. What is resistance which opposes the flow of electrons? Here I am going to relate it with the working of a tap. Why do we use a tap in a tank? In order to limit or to resist the water flow. Similarly, the resistance which is used to limit the current flow of electrons in the circuit. So this is the practical example that which is related to Ohm's law. So I, I think this example will give you a better relation about the Ohm's law and this example. So I want you to remember this definitely this point current proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. You just uh, to in order to remain this status statement, you just consider the remind the definition of this H3. What is voltage? Potential difference between two ends of a conductor. Resistance which flows opposite the flow of electrons. Current means a flow of electrons. You just relate all these three definitions as put together. At steady state temperature, at constant temperature, a steady state current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference and inversely proportional to the resistance, which we usually we will term it as V equal to I into R. So in this session, we have came to know about the Ohm's law and the basic form for uh, electrical term as V, I and R. In next class, we will see about the Kirchhoff's current law, voltage law. Thank you.